smile. Action! Right, so um, it's Monday morning and I am in my lorry and the Decker. It's four o'clock in the morning. <coughs> I've got three pickups to Stoneleigh which need to be there for nine o'clock. So uh, that's why I'm so early here. Um, but yeah, not a too bad a day. Um, I'm not feeling my 100%. Um, I had no one to come and help me today um, because I s suffered with concussion on Friday morning when I was loading up. Um, we had a fairly bad accident while loading up, but um, we're all good. But no one wanted to come and help Becky this morning. But oh well. I said I was okay anyway, so it's not the end of the world. So I've never actually been to this farm before. This GoPro is actually really hurting my head. Where I've whacked the, I whacked my head on the concrete, um, and at the back I've got an indent in my head, and it's just pushing right down on it. But um, yeah, this should be my farm here. I've gone past this lay-by, which he said, and where those lights are, that should be it. just left oh that really gets my head I uh, just picked up 12 so I've done three fours because no point cramming them when I have to use a section upstairs anyway so um. right so we're suited and booted and we're ready we're just leaving to turn around I made it so difficult for myself why did I blindside it I don't know anyway Oh, what's in that drawer? Um, what? Keep going, keep going. Thank you. Um, what have we got on? Uh, we've got a five, a 12, and I've just put a nine on, so I've put three on the lift and then six on the back. It was meant to have eight, but it doesn't matter. I had loads of room anyway. I could get six on the back anyway. So yeah, we're just now gonna leave. Um, wee back through the industrial estate and try and make my way to the M69. Hmm, I wonder what this woman says to me today. Come on, you lot. I'm gonna unhitch when I get back. Um, and I need to fill that that lorry up with diesel because I'm in that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna wash my unit off. 
because we are going down Lang. No, we're not. We're going down Somerset. Um, we're going down Langport. We're going down Somerset, Langport on Wednesday, and I actually can't really see a lot out of my windows, so it needs a wash. But anyway, I'm going to go and go home, have some lunch, ride ponies, come back up. Good morning, peeps. It's a Tuesday morning. I'm in Little Oblob. We've only got 12 stores to do, so that is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I washed that yesterday. It looks a lot better. It looks much better up to my standards. Um, so, yeah, we've got 12 stores to do, so I'm only using two sections because I'm not washing the whole lorry out. So I just do two sixes. Easy. Um, I'm just collecting my stuff. My wellies are already outside. Um, I need my coat, which is absolutely vile, but oh well. Um, but I just had some really exciting news. Well, I say news, planning. Uh, really exciting planning. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, I'm just locking shut up because no one else is here. Um, what are we doing? So I'm weighing these. So obviously they've been bought by uh, weight per kilo. Um, so it's not per head. Um, uh, not very far we're going. We're going Lutterworth to Ashby de la Zouche. That's a cool, that's a cool name. So as I was just leaving the yard, um, someone turned up. So that made it a lot easier for me because I didn't have to shut the gates or lock up. I locked the shed up, but I didn't have to lock the gates up, which is handy. Hmm. Well, that was easy. I've just weighed. That took 30 seconds. Um, the weigh bridge was like disguised. You couldn't see it in the ground. Um, but now I'm going four minutes up the road. I've been to a farm up there. That's as further as I've gone along this road. Just waiting for the traffic lights to change. It's like waiting for paint to dry. Oh yeah, Wolfie, what dad, yes. Woo! Found it. Oh, that hurts my arm. I don't like electric gates, don't close, don't close, don't close. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Right. right, down we go. Here and turn round, but I'm not quite sure where I'm meant to turn round. Like, I can't even get through. Uh, I'm, yeah, I don't know. So, I've just loaded. Um, I had to use a whole lorry. I thought I was going to be sneaky, but there was 13 and I couldn't get seven in the front. Well, I probably could, but I didn't really want to push it for no apparent reason when I had one extra section, so. But I didn't realise there were Wagyu's. So we've got 13 Wagyu's on. Uh, so far, so good. The farmer's directions have been spot on. So I should get to the bottom of this hill turn left and take the second entrance on the left into his farm um, I always if I don't know where I'm going I always ask the farmer which is the best way to come in because obviously he knows his roads I don't know them especially if I'm in an Arctic um, if when I'm in the little lorry it's a lot easier to turn this round so we've managed to turn around after he uh, moved some stuff and we're just coming back down this little track next to the building and then we're going to unload there where he's standing it's one of the weirdest experiences i've had like normally they say oh thank you and everything um but <laughs> i unloaded them they didn't speak to me i loaded them um, shut, obviously shut the doors as I was they gone and um, they, they just walked off with the cattle I was like uh, do I just put my ramp up and go 
but honestly, they just walked off. I'm like, okay, okay. See ya. Bye. So I've just pulled back in the yard. Oh, what a big day this was. They're just going to take it out. Look at that for a bruise. You probably can't see it as well. It's like round here. <laughs> Um, still really hurts. I can't bend it very well, but I'm gonna fill this out, fill in my movement book. We're gonna swap tiny tag, take that off a single decker, put mine on it because I'm going down Somerset tomorrow, and tiny tag goes too slow, um, so I'm gonna go on mine. Um, so yeah, and then I'll go right and then do paperwork. So um, so it's a Wednesday morning. We are going down Somerset. I'm in the single decker because I've only got 25 on. Just started a rut. Um, I'm going to go and get my stuff and put them in the trailer in the side locker and do my walk around checks. Um, I actually washed the little lorry yesterday. Looks a lot better. But um, I had to had to go to hospital yesterday. Um, so obviously I had that bad accident last week um, on the Friday um, and my head still really hurts um, I don't like going to hospital I try and avoid it like the plague um, but I rang 111 up and they said right you, you need to go you need to have a scan and other doctors that I've spoken to said yeah you need to go and have a scan just in case I've actually got an indent in the back of my head so I went to the hospital and I got to see him really quickly, to be honest, um, as I'd been referred to um, from 111 and um, they didn't give two beeps about me. Uh, they just sent me home and um, yeah, said there was nothing wrong with me. Um, so yeah, I was like, right, okay. And they said, oh, um, why don't you take some painkillers? I said yeah I have been but they haven't been working at all like paracetamol and they said well you just keep taking the paracetamol and it'll be fine and I'm like but the paracetamol ain't gonna isn't working so why waste paracetamol on painkillers when I could just use those for my period I'm not taking painkillers when they don't work so yeah so I've just loaded up and and I'm just having a bit of play fighting over there very hungry moves um, I've only got 25 on and they're loaded of treat. I forgot to film them in I was, I was too preoccupied. Um, wow. But anyway, I'm gonna fill out the paperwork. I've got two forms, because you can't get 25 on one form. And then we will be still going. It's a different one now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to fill my paperwork out and then we're going to head down to Bridgewater in Somerset. So I'm just waiting to tip as there's a six, six, wheeler? six wheeler tipping in front of me and there's a fridge lorry in the way so I can't back on the other dock. It shouldn't take too long, he's only got three sections, that's one pen. <laughs> Just finish 
trotting out. I'm really sorry that I haven't got a lot of footage today. I can't actually put the GoPro on my head because it actually hurts quite badly at the back of my head where it's all dented in, uh, where I've smacked it on the concrete. So I am finding it quite difficult. So probably this week is gonna probably be the worst week I've done. But anyway, I finished washing out and um, I'm gonna head home. So yeah, woo. So I'm just heading back into Bridgewater now. This is, uh, I don't really like this road. It reminds me of the Melton Road from Harbour. Twisty, not very wide, um, especially when you meet another lorry or a bus. Um, to be honest, I'm getting to the end of it now, so it's mm. not as bad, but it's, it's not a very nice road. So I've just pulled back in the yard um, and I've taken my card out, filled out my movement book, and now we're going home. So yeah, uh, we've got three or four pickups to Spalding tomorrow, um, but I'm not starting early. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's a Thursday morning, there is Tony Dag. <laughs> um, I've set my GoPro up on there. I'm in the single decker again. Uh, Dad's in the decker, he's already gone. I've got like three or four pickups to Spalding, like I said last night. Um, someone's just rang me up saying, his lorry's broken down, can we help him out? I said, both me and Dad are out. Um, but the little lorry's standing over there, so you're more than welcome to um, come and borrow it. Um, so he's on his way, but I'll be left by the time he gets here, but he knows where the keys are. Um, so yeah. I'm literally just going 10 minutes down the road for my first pickup. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Dad said, I think it was 11 o'clock. So we're just going to work with 11, even though he didn't tell me any other time. So we're just going to carry it on. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll get there early because I don't particularly want to be too late tonight. And it's windy, which means only one thing. It's windy and it's sunny, which means one thing. I'm gonna have to brush. I'm gonna have to brush when I get um, spalding to when I wash out. But But I have to go in the shed first. In there. At least we've got more room this time because there's normally all straw here. Hello, Moors. Right. How oh, close are we going to get to? It's only straw, isn't it? We'll try and get it on an angle so I can get through the door on an angle without my trailer hitting the roller shutter bit this side, the stanchion this side. And then we just, when it gets through the, through the gate, the door, which, the trailer has now. To be honest, it's going quite well. I don't really want to lock it round. There we go, we're out that bit. Right, I've locked it round too much. because I'm used to having less room. bucket on that side, I missed all that. This is 
doesn't help that the sun is in mirrors. How's that looking on the side? We're just pulling out. Uh, I gave him the option. I said, you could either do a seven and a one or a six and a two. Cause I've not got a full load. So he did a six and a two. I'm just pulling out now. Filled out the paperwork. Now I'm just on the way to the other side. Market Harbour. Um, so yeah. I thought, I don't even know how many. Uh, anyway, let's... Ah, so I'm just uh, about to turn towards my grain store. Look, there's me! <laughs> Every time I go past that, um, that mirror, I always, always do that. Entertaining. You've got to look at yourself. Um, but yeah. Uh, we're picking up at a grain store. I know livestock lorry in a grain store, a bit weird. But he brings the cattle to me because I can't get in the in the farm with an Arctic. Can get I haven't even been there this year, I don't think. In a, no, have I? Oh. Bex, it's only February. Um, no, I haven't been there. Last year I, I went a couple of times, I think. I can't remember. Oh, I'm blabbering on. Um, but yeah, I can't get in the farm with um, an Arctic only a rigid I can get in with so he has to bring them to me bearing in mind there is only two so I will put those two with um, with the two that I've got had from the last farmer that I've put in a separate section um, so yeah because I've got another I don't know three and uh, five or something like that to pick up so yeah um, but yeah, I'm just about to turn here, Let's switch this GoPro on. Something different on my YouTube videos because he watches them 
and it's actually quite a good idea. I'll, I'll give it to him. So at Truck Fest, I'm going to try and get round people and um, get a short video of them standing in front of their lorry, waving or giving me the thumbs up or something. I'm going to put them all together in one video. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. Try and do. But that won't be until Peterborough. Um, he says, why don't you do it in the services? I'm like, I don't stop in services. But anyway, we've got a three. Uh, what's 105? Hang on, let me just fill this out. Um, we've got a three that I've put in on their own. Um, and then a seven, so I've put two with the three and then put five on the back. So again, not a full load. What time did we load? Let's put 12.30. And it's the 23rd of the 3rd, 23. And the other one, I've got to do it on both ones. So um, I found myself a convoy. I pulled into the services to give dad some directions and this lorry in front of, hello. <laughs> this lorry in front of me was already in there. Um, no one was on the pump, so I just pulled onto the pumps for five minutes just to give Dad the directions. He pulled in um, next to me after he'd finished his break, and then there's a lorry in front of me with a load of sheep on. He pulled in uh, because he wanted to find a bull because he's got a bull belt, but the services don't sell any at all. So um, this lorry in front of me has given the lorry in front of him a bulb. So yeah, now we're all in convoy. <laughs> so. I have just pulled into Spalding. It's a bit carnage in here. I don't know where this tip is going. I've got two lorries in front of me. Where is he going? Anyway, I'm just gonna wait to unload. The sun is quite bright. I literally do that every time. I'm like, did I put my bush up? Knowing that I actually did, but I'm like, you know when you double thinking you're like uh i need to check so um i did pick it up it is in my side okay. my last drink i need to go b and m and buy some i'm just waiting for the shunt driver to move a fridge and then i can pull up to the gatehouse <sighs> and then it's home time and then we're swapping lorries because i'm on a tiny tie tomorrow going to derbyshire the sun is very bright Nice sunset though, if you weren't driving. My aim is to overtake the lorry. Yes. Come on, mate. Oh dear. Hey, look at this. Oh. I thought this was going to be it. But no, he's going to have to pull out. Damn it. <laughs> But Scania's no match for the da. <laughs> I told him he'd be on the YouTube with his daughter. You ready? <laughs> Let's let off a bit. this traffic keeps going that he'll go under the bridge um, as I go over it so we'll give it a go we'll see how it goes There's nothing coming only a lorry coming over the bridge because I can see it through the edge It'd be quite cool if this works but I think he's just gone under has he just gone under Yeah, there he is. He's gone. So, um, I was just on the phone to Dad. I've just, I'm just dropping the single deck now off my lorry. Um, Tiny Tags started up building air up because it's got an air leak. Um, and then 
um, I'll hitch that up onto the single deck. Um, just because I'm taking Tiny Tag for a run. Um, one, it was just in case it was really tight in the farm. Two, oh, let's put that up. Two, um, we've run out of diesel at the yard and we're having a delivery. Um, and this, is, does, this needs some diesel in it. And Tiny Tag's on full. Um, so, once again, and Tiny Tag is actually going away um for 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 i don't know how long um you'll see that soon um that'll be uh ready for truck fest tiny tag as i was saying tiny tag will be ready for truck fest peterborough um yeah that will be her first ever show all done up all literally all completely completed um, obviously she's had to earn her keep before she's been able to oh the lights just come on um, before she's been able to be all done up um, if you followed me before on TikTok you'd see she uh, used to be Chris Bennett um, she used to be take the card out she used to be uh, like a white grey and um, red obviously now she's green and yellow she's in our fleet colours um, we put Dura Brights on her brand new super singles um, when she still was uh, in Chris Bennett's colours. Um, we've put a back flap on her with a back bar. Um, we've put a headboard on her, um, which I got from Kuda. And if you use Becky 10, that is 10% off. Um, we are going to put some seat covers in there just to save the seats in there. Um, but we're just going to leave it completely all original. We're not going to do anything else to it. Um, we're going to keep it old school. Um, so yeah, that's literally what um, an old St Mary's lorry used to look like. Not a tag, but the tag is like the rarity. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put that on the single decker and just get sorted for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys. Mm -hmm.